What is the scale of resources? resources? What is it that you want to see happen? Yeah, so, um, I mean, we just want to see the biggest impact. We'd like to turn on TV and maybe not see a stop to the inauguration, you know, of the parties. Um, I think that would make him ultimately the happiest and okay. wanting to open up his wallet. He gives the money to you, says do whatever you want with it. I tell you, this is what's going to happen. Are you going to be like, yes, that's what we want to fund? Yeah. I'm saying with the bridge, like 10 people are going to go shut down a bridge. Is yeah. that what you want to fund? Yeah. You want uh, us to come back and say, that was amazing that you shut down that bridge. You showed us that you, you met our expectations. Here's more money. Yeah, and we gave you $500,000 to do that, and that's exactly what we want. Well, I think no, the one think thing, I mean, the one thing I would say about that is there is a philosophy of nonviolence. It's almost like a spiritual philosophy of nonviolence, right? They're nonviolent people. Welcome to The Undercurrent. I'm Lauren Windsor. Convicted criminal and right-wing con artist James O'Keefe and his cohorts in the Trump Foundation-funded Project Veritas are at it again. This time infiltrating progressive groups in an attempt to create a storyline smearing progressives by promising to fund money for violence schemes to unsuspecting advocates. But this time, the tables were turned. We received a tip on suspicious behavior and immediately recognized O'Keefe's malicious handiwork. We partnered with Ryan Clayton of Americans Take Action and launched a counter sting. And Mr. Simon knows like, what he wants. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, and he definitely wants to see it happen. So. Yeah. Like, what is the scale of resources? resources? You'd like to turn on TV and maybe not see. In this report, you will hear O'Keefe's operative offer to pay Clayton large sums of money to break the law and disrupt the presidential inauguration. But let's first understand some background. In 2009, donning a party store pimp hat, James O'Keefe slithered onto the national stage, ensnaring low-level employees of a community development agency in harebrained proposals to commit fraud. This would become O'Keefe's MO, to pitch illegal activity to liberal targets while filming them without their knowledge and then to release deceptively edited sting videos of the conversations. His approach has been widely discredited. This time, O'Keefe operative Allison Moss, who goes by a variety of aliases, contacted a progressive activist group to set up a meeting to discuss how she could help to fund protests to disrupt the Trump inauguration. And I don't want the conversation to be, you did an amazing job, but those people shut down that bridge and I don't like that. You know what I mean? You want us to come back and say, that was amazing that you shut down that bridge. You told us that you were met our expectations. Here's more money. Yeah, and we gave you $500,000 to do that, and that's exactly what we want. Yeah. Moss, going by Allison Brandt, claimed to work for a progressive donor named Mr. Simon, at a sham political consultancy called Breakthrough Dev Group. Over the course of the last election cycle, Moss was caught infiltrating the campaigns of Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Russ Feingold. And in September of last year, colleagues in my own office were targeted by Moss and O'Keefe in an elaborate and very expensive plot to portray everyday political campaign work as sinister criminal activity and to gain intelligence on the inner workings of the Clinton presidential campaign. O'Keefe, who got his start as the protege of the late Andrew Breitbart, masterminded this operation with current Breitbart contributor Christian Hartsock, who also presented himself as a political donor consultant for Breakthrough Dev Group. Hartsock's undercover role was accompanied by extensive coverage from Breitbart News, with multiple exclusives. Funding for Project Veritas is largely unknown, but we do know the outfit is supported by high-level Republican donors, some of whom use the Coke Connected Donors Trust to hide their role in funding O'Keefe's operations from public view. Then there's the Trump Foundation's five-figure donation to Veritas in 2015 and the full-throated support of O'Keefe by President-elect Donald Trump himself. The story is 
basically the hottest thing on the internet. If you look at what came out today on the clips, where I was wondering what happened with my rally in Chicago and other rallies where we had such violence. She's the one in Obama that caused the violence. James O'Keefe right over there that did the video. He did a great job. And I think, listen, he's doing the American people a great service. But back to their latest stealth attack. We received an email tip and immediately recognized O'Keefe's front group and the alias of his operative. We turned to Ryan Clayton, the president of Americans Take Action, for help with a counter sting. Clayton set up a dinner meeting with Allison Brandt for Thursday, January 5th in Washington, D.C. to discuss her supposed donor funding for protests of Trump's inauguration. Whatever entity we're getting that money from, say it's, you know, uh, Breakthrough Development is giving ATA that money. Right. And, you know, I sat down with Mr. Simon. He was very clear. You know, Mr. Simon says there should be disruption. Mr. Simon says, you know, it's cool to shut down bridges. And, you know, it's cool if the Trump people riot in response to what we're doing. And that happens. He says, that's what I want my money to go to. Shutting down of the bridges. Yeah. Like ten people come in and shut down a bridge, and he says, "I want to give you fifty thousand dollars to do that." Um, and then other people, you know, hundred people go and they're by the inauguration. Trump supporters violently attack them. The police on the TV are like, "It's a riot," and he says, "I'm going to give you fifty thousand dollars to do that." And then you're going to be the conduit, like Breakthrough Development Group says. You know, we're giving you the check for hundred thousand dollars. Okay. And then you guys send that money to ATA, right? The my group. Or do you want to send it to the other group? If, no matter the logistics, if he says that's what he wants, are you guys going to do? If, which part of it, though? Like, if he says, like, I just want to be clear. Like, Actual action. And right. The, so let's say what you're asking for. Let's, let's bottom, let's boilerplate, right? He says, I'll give you $100,000 to shut down a bridge inside a riot and make sure that we hack the media narrative on inauguration. Yeah, Is that the kind said, of... You said you could do stuff like that and he says he likes it, would you actually do that? Yeah. I mean, the one thing I'd say about it is, like, I didn't say that we would do all of those things because, like, we're a very nonviolent organization. You know what I mean? A lot of people we work with have a commitment to nonviolence. It's clear that Project Veritas wants to concoct evidence to prove that progressives are inciting violence against Trump supporters. You just saw their operative conspire to incite violence at the inauguration, and we saw the very same operative try to frame progressive organizers for supposedly inciting violence at campaign rallies last year. It's obvious that O'Keefe's investigations are nothing more than surgically targeted political hit jobs. To be clear, O'Keefe has deep ties to Breitbart News, and O'Keefe's secret campaign against my office and other progressive groups utilized at least one Breitbart contributor and began when Steve Bannon was helming Breitbart, which subsequently promoted O'Keefe's October surprise videos. Conveniently, it was shortly after Bannon joined the Trump campaign that the candidate began to lean heavily on claims of election rigging in his speeches. The media questioned these claims as unsubstantiated, which perfectly teed up O'Keefe to launch his heavily edited October surprise videos he named Rigging the Election. Is it any surprise that James O'Keefe was Donald Trump's personal guest at the final presidential debate? Thus providing Trump with the proof of voter fraud that he had previously lacked. James O'Keefe, Breitbart News, Stephen Bannon, and Donald Trump. All the pieces of this puzzle have now come together. This has all the hallmarks of a Republican Dirty Tricks campaign run amok. Lee Atwater and Richard Nixon would be so proud. How much did Donald Trump know and when did he know it? And is James O'Keefe still conducting political hit jobs on the president-elect's behalf? Make sure to subscribe to The Undercurrent on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and stay tuned for more news on James O'Keefe. I'm Lauren Windsor. Thanks for watching. Get pulled in to the undercurrent.
world we live in, where do I begin? Won't get too far if truth ain't your friend. You can pretend, stick with the norm.